All right, all right. Well, I could not let this one go. Um, yeah, the thing on Mohammed, you know, pirates, blah, 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 all that bullshit. One thing that I forgot to mention is, yes, after we won the war with England, yeah, the Muslims, they just started to start hitting our trade ships, and we didn't really have a navy. We didn't. So, we actually started giving them money. Tributes. Like, here, we'll give you this each year. And then they'd continue to start hitting our ships. And they'd be like, okay, well, we'll give you more. And then they continue to start hitting our ships. We got to the point to where we were actually giving them 20% of, like, what you would say be as, hey, this is a country that went to war over taxation. This is one that I know I'm getting off point, blah, 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 blah. But we are a country that went to taxation over the queen and the crown taxing us like one point something percent, whether it's 1.1, 1.7%, whatever, less than 2% to a country that taxes us almost about 10% and taxes us uh, more than once. Okay. So we got to the point to where what taxes we were doing, which would trust me, we started taxes right away after we won. We got to the point to where we were giving them 20%. So it was like, okay, we're, we're giving them 20% and they're still attacking our ships again. After how many times? So what, are we going to get to the point where I have to give them 50% and then it's just like, what, we have... So what did we do? We built our navy and we destroyed them. Yes, we destroyed them. So, you got to understand, and this goes back, and I'm not talking to the Americas, but literally, their crap has been going on all the way to the movie 300 to Sparta. Ah. Uh, do you understand? Like, it's, it, history is repeating itself. But, the times and the ages change. So, the ways that they repeat themselves are the same... Of what they're trying to do, but in a different tactic. Nobody has continued to win, or nobody has ever been able to do anything. You keep using the same tactic. You always got to learn new tactics. What do you, That's all this is. We have different technology, different this, different that, blah, 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 new tactics. But here's the problem. We have people that are running things that want to make us so fucking stupid and so and have so many of us against ourselves. And I don't give a fuck if you're brown, white, purple, or fucking orange. Couldn't give two shits. What I care about is you got Western values. And you don't think just because a woman was caught being an adulteress that... And I'm not saying that no, people shouldn't cheat. That's hella wrong. But that's for God to judge. That's not for somebody to freaking be like, well, we said it happened. So you're going to freaking bury this woman halfway into the sand and stone her to death. Don't People don't understand. This is what we're importing. And like I said in another video, I dare you to look up Sweden. I dare you to look up what happened on the fucking New Year's in Germany. Belford. Fucking dare you. It's sad. 1,200 girls fucking raped. 1,200 girls raped on New Year's. This wasn't being important. You want to know why they're importing it. Here's why. So that you can be so scared for your freaking daughters and your sisters and your mothers that you'll be willing to let them come take over your whole fucking country, make it a police state where you got to be IRD fucking chipped, and they can take away all your guns and all your fucking freedoms. They want a new world order. But here's the one thing you got to realize. We can't let that happen. Because you want to know something? They talk about diversity, diversity, diversity. You keep mixing every culture and everybody together. If they assimilate, there will be no culture. Everything will be same. And let alone people don't integrate like that. You look at all the black people, Indian people, and all those people that literally integrated into English life for the past 50 60, 40 years. They integrated. Their kids, their, they, they, well, what are you? 
I'm English. I'm English. I'm English. But all these people that you've been bringing here in floods and droves of people, they don't, and they don't want to be. Like, it doesn't work that way. <sighs> well, back to Mohammed being a fucking piece of shit fucking pirate. They like to have uh, marry six-year-old girls and then, uh, what did he, what was it, nine years old that he consummated it? The fuck, dude. Islam, a religion of peace, my ass. This video goes out to uh, any person that thinks that Islam is a religion of peace and has never done any damn research. Contact me. Let's talk. Let me show you some videos. Let me show you some stuff. Because you are perpetuating uh, a people that want to come over and literally decimate you and everything that you've ever loved. And for me, I have a problem with that. I'm a direct descendant of Brigham fucking Young. I say fucking Young because I don't fucking care. I don't know why. I think the Mormon religion is a little haywire to me. I believe in Jesus Christ. And the Mormon religion is a little, yeah. But I'm a descendant of Brigham Young. Brigham Young's descendants go all the way back to the Mayflower. So, I think I have a lot of blood spilled on this land. So anybody that's got a problem with my feelings and how I feel about things, be my guest. If you want to have a conversation, would love to have it. And if you want to throw it down in the middle of the street, love to have it. Alright, well, God bless.